The Formula One season has only just started and aside from a predictable race winner during the first race it's been complete chaos. Hamilton confirming his move to Ferrari, Horner being investigated and then not getting the boot only for him to get his investigation leaked, Verstappen on the edge of joining Mercedes due to Red Bull's chaos, and now to make matters even worse, it has come out that Mohamed Ben Sulayem, head of the Federation Internationale de l'Automobile (FIA), is being investigated for allegedly meddling with a Formula One race outcome. Could the season have started any more chaotic? So, after all the chaos, we are now dealing with a FIA president looking to make his own mark on races. But, a whistleblower has informed the FIA that Ben Sulayem reportedly interfered to overturn a penalty imposed to Aston Martin's Fernando Alonso at the 2023 Saudi Grand Prix. And this hasn't been taken lightly. The accusation is made in a report to the FIA's Ethics Committee by a compliance officer. According to the whistleblower, Ben Sulayem called Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the FIA's Vice President for Sport for the Middle East and North Africa region, who was in Saudi Arabia for the race on official business and expressed his belief that Alonso's penalty should be revoked. Alonso received a 10-second penalty for working on his car while serving a prior 5-second penalty. According to compliance officer Paolo Basari's report, the whistleblower said that Ben Sulayem pretended the stewards to overturn their decision to issue the penalty to Alonso. The Ethics Committee is anticipated to release its report in four to six weeks. The penalty had knocked Alonso from third position behind Red Bull's Sergio Perez and Max Verstappen to fourth behind Mercedes' George Russell. Withdrawing it returned him to the podium place. Furthermore, the information was questioned with many top executives from F1 and the FIA. None would speak on the record, but all claimed to have the same knowledge. So, what exactly happened in Saudi Arabia 2023? Alonso earned an initial five-second penalty for placing his car slightly outside his starting box on the grid for the race. This was served during Alonso's first pit break, but the two-time champion was later penalised 10 seconds because Aston Martin was found to have broken the regulations by working on his car within the five-second period. The penalty was issued because Alonso's car was touched by the rear jack before the whole time period had passed, which violated F1 rules. At the time, the stewards' rationale for reversing the verdict included a conversation between the F1 teams and the FIA about working on cars while serving a penalty in the pits. The Silverstone crew was able to establish to the stewards that, while the issue had been addressed at the SAC, there was no definitive consensus that jacks touching cars were forbidden. Stevenson also revealed recordings of seven penalty pit stops involving Mercedes, Alpine, Alpha Tauri, Haas, and McLaren with Jack's touching. The stewards evaluated this additional information and overturned the ruling on Alonso's 10-second penalty, restoring the Spaniard's third place. The ruling on the right of appeal stated, We concluded that there was no clear agreement, as was suggested to the stewards previously, that could be relied upon to determine that parties had agreed that a Jack touching a car would amount to working on the car. At the time, Article 54 4C of the sports regulation stated, while a car is stationary in the pit lane as a result of incurring a penalty in accordance with Articles 54, 3A or 54, 3B above, it may not be worked on until the car has been stationary for the duration of the penalty. The FIA was criticised for changing its stance due to apparent uncertainty about what the regulations indicated, but it appears to have been done at the hand of Ben Sulayem. The governing body chose to expedite an event review, saying that, consistent with the transparent approach adopted by the FIA, a thorough analysis has been undertaken and conclusions drawn that will help improve the sport. According to the report, the review panel comprised representatives from a number of FIA departments including race control, safety, operations and technical, and members of the FIA Remote Operations Center (ROC). In accordance with the judgment of the Jeddah stewards, the review said that this circumstance arose due to a lack of clarity in the wording of the relevant regulations and conflicting precedents which were exposed by this specific incident. The rule itself had been a point of discussion at recent Sporting Advisory Committee meetings, the forum in which the FIA, FOM and all the teams discuss and propose amendments to the F1 sporting regulations for approval and implementation in the FIA F1 World Championship. Following the race and the Alonso incident, an additional phrase was added. In this context, touching the car or driver by hand or using tools or equipment will all constitute working. If this phrase had been in effect at the time, it would have been clear that the stewards had made the correct first choice. 
The disclosure of an attempt to meddle with the punishment judgment is the latest in a string of problems that have engulfed Ben Sulayem since his election in December 2021. The FIA's Ethics Committee is now investigating the situation, and FIA Compliance Officer Paolo Bassari, who has been with the organization since 2017, has filed a report. There was no indication at the time that the steward's change of heart was inappropriate. In actuality, the spotlight was on Aston Martin's sporting director, Andy Stevenson, who successfully argued the team's case in a right of review, convincing the stewards to reverse their views. It was also viewed as an unusual instance of the stewards considering fresh facts and adopting a conclusion that looked reasonable and equitable. It also prompted an FIA inquiry, which clarified the regulations against touching cars during penalty pit stops. But still, the FIA president should stay out of it. And it isn't just only this that has caused for an uproar around the president. As most recently, the FIA started a compliance investigation into Mercedes team principal Toto Wolff and his wife Susie, on behalf of Ben Sulayem after a magazine reported a conflict of interest. The investigation was halted after only two days, following strong comments from Mercedes, F1, and the other nine teams, all of which stated that they had not filed a complaint. Insiders believe the FIA will face legal action over the Wolf's case. A series of issues throughout 2022, Ben Sulayem's first year in office, sparked significant alarm in F1 and requests from top people for his replacement. Following criticism throughout the winter of 2022 to 23, Ben Sulayem indicated that he would step down from direct engagement in F1, stating that it had been his stated objective to be a non-executive president. Controversies included, but were not limited to, blocking for six months a deal between the teams and the commercial rights holder to quadruple the number of sprint weekends in 2023. F1's attorney sent him a cease and desist letter after he responded on social media to a story suggesting Saudi Arabia's public investment fund wanted to acquire the sport for $20 billion. The appearance of a historical website that cited him expressing sexist statements. Ben Sulayem has stated that his intervention in the sprints was to guarantee that the FIA had the resources to manage the modification. He has not commented on the cease and desist letter. In an interview with the Press Association last November, he defended historical sexist remarks on his website, saying, What did I say, if I said it? Let's assume it was me. I tell you exactly what it said. I hate when women think they are smarter than us, but they hate when men think they are smarter than them. Did I say we are smarter? No. Did I say they are less smarter? No. For God's sake, if that is the only thing they have against me, please be my guest, you can do worse than that. Ben Sulayem has also sparked a feud with Formula One management, F1's commercial authority, by making public statements on social media regarding the championship's financial worth while simultaneously unilaterally initiating the process of admitting an 11th team to the grid. Andretti successfully completed that procedure, but its road to F1 has been stopped after the commercial rights holder rejected the application on business reasons. All this trouble and the leadership under Ben Sulayem has caused a number of senior figures have resigned from the FIA in recent months, including Steve Nielsen, who took on the role of sporting director in early 2023 and resigned before before he had spent a year in his role. Deborah Meyer, the head of the Women's Commission, Gerd Enser, the head of German Motorsports Authority, the ADAC, who quit his role as an FIA steward, lawyers Pierre Ketterer and Ed Floyd, and FIA single-seater director Tim Goss. Goss, a former McLaren technical director, obtained a post as chief technical officer of Red Bull's RB team. None of these individuals have provided public justifications for their departure from the FIA. What are your thoughts on the situation? Is FIA being led properly? And should the president be able to meddle in race results? Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below.